Happy Halloween, everybody. You know, I've been seeing lots of pumpkins out there. Some of them are jack-o'-lanterns. And you know, this is a little song about rolling pumpkins. So I want you to roll your pumpkins like this when we sing. Ready? Hey ho, it's Halloween when the pumpkins can be seen rolling up and down the street. Hey ho, it's Halloween. Let's sing it together. Hey ho, it's Halloween when the pumpkins can be seen rolling up and down the street. Hey ho, it's Halloween. All kinds of cool things we might see on Halloween. Hey ho, it's Halloween when the ghosts can be seen spooking around on Halloween. Hey ho, it's Halloween. Ready? Spooky sounds. Oh. You might even see some scary things like goblins. Let's try that. Oh, hey, ho, it's Halloween when the goblins can be seen. They're so scary on Halloween. Hey, ho, it's Halloween. Let's make some scary sounds. You might even see some monsters. You never know. Hey, ho, it's Halloween when the monsters can be seen. They're so loud on Halloween. Hey, ho, it's Halloween. Can you do that? <laughs> it's fun to do all these things for Halloween. Let's sing about our pumpkins. Hey ho, it's Halloween when the pumpkins can be seen rolling up and down the street. Hey ho, it's Halloween. One more time. Hey ho, it's Halloween when the pumpkins can be seen rolling up and down the street. Hey ho, it's Halloween. Oh man, there's so many cool things on Halloween. You could even sing this little song about some of them. Goblins, alley cats, witches on brooms. Wind in the trees sing scary tunes. These are the things that are heard and seen in the dark of night on Halloween. Rattling skeleton spooks in white Moaning and groaning through the night These are the things that are heard and seen In the dark of night on Halloween In the dark of night on Some people can sing this song with me about the ghost of Tom. If you don't know it, it's time to learn it. Have you seen the ghost of Tom? Long white bones with the skin all gone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wouldn't it be chilly with no skin on? I guess it would. Let's try it together. Have you seen the ghost of Tom? Long white bones with his flesh all gone. Ooh, wouldn't it be chilly with no skin on? Everybody, have you seen the ghost of Tom? Long white bones. With the flesh all gone Wouldn't it be chilly with no skin on? I know you guys aren't scared, but it's fun to sing these songs. But you know, chilly. It is chilly this time of year. And sometimes when you go trick-or-treating, it gets a little cold, especially if it rains. But it's still fun to go trick-or-treating. And this song is about trick-or-treating in the rain. As I walk this night, my costume is way too tight. I'm so cold. I'd like to scream. Everybody scream. Ah! There you go. But candy fills my sack, so I'll eat some when I get back to my house on Halloween. I'm a walking in the rain. home in bed when will this ever end and I wonder why 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 it ever came and I wonder when will it come again cuz I love Halloween I love 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 Halloween I love 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 Halloween 
Halloween And as I trick or treat Well I'll think of The junk I'll eat tomorrow After Halloween And I'll hide my favorite treats And I'll save them Till the week before Next Halloween Yeah, that'll be fun Here we go before Halloween? Well, guess what? These kids, a little boy named John and a little girl named Sally, were walking along and they said, you know, it's getting dark and it's kind of cold and it's drizzling and I think we should take the shortcut home. But the shortcut home, it went through the graveyard. So John looked at Sally and said, are you scared? Sally looked at John. I'm not scared. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. So they decided they weren't scared. And they started walking through the graveyard. And it got darker and darker. And they suddenly heard strange noises. They heard leaves rustling. And they heard owls hooting in the trees. Everybody. And they heard cats meowing and screeching. And they heard the branches crinkling like skeletons, tick, 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 blowing the leaves. Shh. The cats, they were looking at each other and saying, are you scared? No, I'm not scared. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. So they kept walking and they walked and all of a sudden they were in the middle of the graveyard. It was really dark and they heard this. Turn me over. Can you all say that with me? Turn me over. Are you scared? No. Are you scared? No. So they kept walking. And as they walked further, it got louder. Turn me over. Turn me over. But they weren't scared. So they walked until they came to a giant door. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. All of a sudden, they heard even louder behind the door. Turn me over. Turn me over. <gasps> They decided to open the door. Okay, everybody, open the door with me. Ready? Boom, it's a big door. They looked down. There were steps and cobwebs and spiders. And down at the bottom of the steps, they saw this big glowing eye, big red eye behind some kind of a costume or something. A great, they didn't know what it was. They went down the steps. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. They got to the bottom of the steps and they heard really loud, turn me over. And they looked really close and they saw there was a hamburger sitting on top of hot coals. So they reached up, they saw the spatula and they took the spatula. And what do you think they did? They turned the hamburger over, boop. And you know what the hamburger said? Thank you. I guess you guys weren't scared, were you? Nah, I don't think you were scared. <laughs> I know how to scare you with this little song. There was an old woman all skin and bones. Then you go like this. Ooh. Ready? There was an old woman all skin and bones. Ooh. One night she thought she'd take a walk. Ooh, she walked down by the old graveyard. Ooh, she saw the bones a laying around. Ooh, she opened the closet to get a broom and boom! 
Did I scare you that time? Nah, it's hard to scare you guys. Well, guess what, you guys? There's a cat that you might have heard of. Nobody could get rid of him. Because you know cats have nine lives. Oh, Mr. Johnson had troubles of his own. He had a yellow cat that would not leave his home. He tried and he tried to give that cat away. He gave it to a man who was going far away. Can you sing with me? But the cat came back the very next day. But the cat came back. They thought he was a goner. But the cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. Boom, boom, ba -do, boom. Let's do that. Ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, boom. Or you can go. Oh. To a man who was going way out west They said, take that cat to the one you love the best But first the train hit a curve, then it jumped the rail Not a soul was left behind to tell the gruesome tale yeah. But the cat came back the very next day But the cat came back, they thought he was a goner But the cat came back, he just wouldn't stay away They sent the cat at last, but the boat was only out a day and taking up water on fast. First the wind began to blow, the waves began to toss. A great big wave came by and everyone was lost. But the cat came back the very next day. But the cat came back, they thought he was a goner. But the cat came back, he just wouldn't stay away. But they gave it to a woman going up in a balloon. They said, can you take that kitty cat to the man up in the moon? Well, the balloon came down about a thousand miles away. Where that woman is now, no one can really say. But the cat came back the very next day. But the cat came back. They thought he was a goner. But the cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. Everybody, let's sing it together one more time. The cat came back. They thought he was a goner. But the cat came back. They thought he was a goner. But the cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Day, but the cat came back. They thought he was a goner, but the cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away. Meow. <laughs> what a silly song that is. Well, if you like picking apples, then this silly little song is for you. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine Hey ho, makes you feel so free Standing in the top of an apple tree Up in the morning before the sun I don't get home until the day is done My pick sack's heavy and my shoulder's sore But I'll be back tomorrow to pick some more Hey ho, makes you feel so fine Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine Hey ho, makes you feel so free Standing in the top of an apple tree you start at the bottom and you pick them from the ground. You pick that tree clean all the way around. Then you set up your ladder and you climb up high. Looking through the branches at the clear blue sky. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine. Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine. Hey ho, makes you feel so free. Standing in the top of an apple tree. 
You got a three-legged ladder, it's wobbly as well. Reaching for an apple and I almost fell. 20 pound sack hanging round my neck. There's two more apples I can't quite get. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine. Looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine. Hey ho, makes you feel so free. Standing in the top of an apple tree. Hey ho, you feel so down. Look at all the windfalls falling on the ground. But hey ho, you feel so free. Standing in the top of an apple tree. You know what though? Hey ho, you lose your mind if you sing this song about a thousand times. Hey ho, but you feel so free standing in the top of an apple tree. Hey ho, makes you feel so fine looking out across the orchard in the bright sunshine. Hey ho, makes you feel so free standing in the top of an apple tree. Bum -ba -rum -bum. And speaking of food for the season, here's a little song about one of my favorites, pumpkin pie. Well, in the West there lived a maid She was a cook who knew her trade She baked sweet pudding and at harvest time She made a very special pumpkin pie Oh, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie She made a special pumpkin pie Pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie You never tasted such a pumpkin a farmer who worked the land. He grew potatoes and beans, oh my, orange pumpkins three feet high. At the harvest fair he won the prize for his pumpkin of enormous size. He gave it to the cook to try. She made a very special pumpkin pie. Oh, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie. She made a special pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie. You never tasted such a pumpkin and milk, sweet brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and some ginger, special spices she would try to woo the gardener with her pumpkin pie. Well, after one mouthful, his eyes began to glaze. After two mouthfuls, he fell into a daze. My lovely cook, in the apple of my eye, I'd love to have some more of your pumpkin pie. Oh, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, she made a special pumpkin such a pumpkin pie. Well, the farmer and cook are as happy as can be, living together with children three. They'll be happy until they die with regular helpings of pumpkin pie. Let's sing it. Oh, pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, she made a special pumpkin pie. such a pumpkin pie. Well, something else you see this time of year when the sky is really clear and it gets cold, if the moon's not out, you see lots of stars. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll see shooting stars through the sky. A shooting star is not a star, is not a star at all. A shooting star's a meteor headed for a fall. A shooting star, a meteor, whichever way you like. The moment that it falls to earth, it's called a meteor right. This little song is a great way to remember the difference between a meteor and a meteorite. Let's do it together, okay? Here we go. A shooting star is not a star, is not a star at all. A shooting star's a meteor headed for a fall. A shooting star, a meteor, whichever way you like. The moment that it falls to earth, it's called a meteor right. Boom. If it's really small, you won't even see it on the ground. Sometimes they're big meteors, but most of them are really small. And by the time they land on the earth, they're all burned up. And they're just a little grain of sand. You can hardly see them at all. Boop. 
when the big orange moon comes up this time of year, sometimes they call it the harvest moon. If you look really closely at that big orange moon, you might see the man in the moon. And if you look even closer, you might see him playing a banjo. Yeah, one of these. Did you know that the man in the moon plays a banjo? Well, guess what? He made his own banjo when he was a kid. Let me tell you what happened. I think he was about five years old. Excuse me. When he was about five... Oh, dear. Try to see if you can help me here. When he was about... Five years old, that's right. When the man in the moon was a little boy, he woke up one morning. It was so early, it was still dark outside, way up there in his little house in the moon. But he woke up really hungry because he liked to eat all the time. That's how that little boy became the big giant man in the moon. He loved to eat all the time. Now, if you like to eat all the time, you can do what he did. He woke up and he wanted somebody to wake up and make his breakfast. So he put his hands up like this. Can you do that? Yeah, put your hands up, and we're going to count to three, and we're going to yell really loud, I'm hungry. He wanted to wake up his family so somebody would make his breakfast. Okay, put your hands up. Let's count. One, two, three. I'm hungry. And he listened, and all he heard was this. Everybody was still sleeping, even his goldfish. Blah, 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 blah. So that little boy, being such a hungry little guy, decided he was gonna tiptoe from his bedroom all the way into the kitchen. Can you do that with me? Put your fingers up like that. We'll pretend we're tiptoeing. And he tiptoed all the way into his kitchen, way up there in the moon. And when he got in the kitchen, he looked up in the cupboard and he saw this gigantic moon-sized bowl, perfect for my breakfast, he said. Everybody reach up in the cupboard, take out that big bowl, yep, that one. He put it on the counter and then he noticed up in the other cupboard, a gigantic, box of Cheerios. It was humongous. Everybody reach up there, take out that moon-sized box of Cheerios. He took out the box, he opened it up, and then of course he started shaking the Cheerios into the bowl. Let's all shake. He was so excited he made up a song. He made up songs about everything. Shake, shake, shake the Cheerios, you gotta shake. Shake, shake the Cheerios, you gotta shake. Shake, shake the Cheerios, you gotta shake them into the bowl. Before he knew it, the bowl was full of Cheerios. But it was such a big bowl, there was room for something else. What do you think the little boy in, in the moon put in the bowl with the Cheerios? If you said milk, you're right. Milk goes great with cereal. So he opened up his big fridge. Everybody open up the big fridge, ready? And in his refrigerator, there was this humongous, gigantic, moon-sized jug of milk. You're going to need two hands for this. Reach into the fridge. And he took out the big jug of milk. And then he turned it upside down over the bowl. Ready? Go. Blah, 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 and he thought, you know, I don't have time to get a glass from the cupboard. He was so hungry, he just dumped it right into the bowl with the milk and the Cheerios. How does that sound for breakfast? Yeah, well, I know. Kind of yucky. He was a curious George kind of kid, but he couldn't wait any longer. He began to look around his kitchen way up there in the moon for a giant spoon to stir up his big breakfast. And that's when he noticed hanging on the wall in his kitchen, there was one of these things. A big spoon. It looked like the back of a banjo. It wasn't a banjo because it didn't have strings on it and it didn't have a drum on the front. It was called a ladle, a kind of a spoon, a big wooden ladle. And he took the ladle and he said, perfect for my big breakfast. Everybody take the big ladle, take your ladle, just like I'm doing, and put it right in the bowl. And then he started stirring. He was stirring and like crazy, having so much fun. The orange juice, the milk, and the Cheerios were spinning around. He started singing again. He went like this. He got louder and louder and louder. And suddenly he realized, uh-oh, I'm waking everybody up because everybody started yelling. Aiken! Aiken, drum, you're waking everybody. Go back to sleep. It's too early. 
they started yelling the weirdest name. They didn't say kid in the moon or boy in the moon or man in the moon. They said, Aiken Drum, you're waking us up. Yeah, that was the name the family gave to him when he was a little boy, Aiken, and his last name was Drum. Well, when little Aiken heard them yelling his name, being such a smart kid, just like all of you kids, he got an idea. When he heard his last name, Drum, he remembered that banjos had drums on the front. They looked just like his label. So you know what he did? He ran to his room and he got a drum. Pretend you're holding a drum in one hand like this. He got a really good idea. And he grabbed his ladle out of the bowl and he took the drum and he put it right on the front of his ladle. And when he did that, it started to look like a real banjo with a drum on the front. But it needed this many strings to make it into a banjo. What number is this again? A five, right. So he ran back to his room, he got five strings. Pretend you're holding up five strings. Now reach up to the top of your ladle and everybody count with me so I get it right. Ready? One, we'll put our strings on together. Two, yep, three, five, I mean four, no, wait a minute. Am I getting, I'm getting confused. You guys have to help me. Let's start from the beginning. One, two, three, Five, I mean four, oh boy, and five. He put five strings on his ladle and made a ladle banjo. And then he decided to start strumming it really quietly because banjos have a drum. You have to strum very quiet or they're very loud. So he decided to strum very quietly. Everybody strum your ladles with me, your ladle banjos. Why did little Aiken drum start strumming so quietly? You're yeah, right, he wanted to put his family back to sleep. And that pretty music started to make everybody quiet down. And once again, he heard lots of snoring. His parents snored really loud. Everybody snore like your parents. Even his goldfish went back to sleep. Blah, 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 blah. And little Aiken was so excited that he put everybody back to sleep, he forgot all about his breakfast. And that's when he decided to make up a song. He had made a new instrument and he loved to eat. He decided to make up a song about food. You know why? He also ate so much food, he was turning into the food he ate. His hair had already turned into spaghetti. His eyes had turned into meatballs. Some people said the man in the moon is made out of green cheese while his nose was made out of a piece of green cheese, but his ears were made out of potato chips. And guess what? We're gonna make up the rest of the song that little Aiken started. So everybody strum your ladles, here we go. Was a man lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. Was a man lived in the moon, his name was Aiken Drum. He played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. Played upon a ladle, his name was Aiken Drum. His hair was made of spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. Hair was made of spaghetti and his name was Aiken Drum. Pour some sauce on top of your spaghetti and let it drip into your meatballs. Everybody blink your meatballs. Cause his eyes are made of meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. Eyes are made of meatballs, his name was Aiken Drum. His mouth was shaped like this and it was yellow and you could peel it. What am I thinking of? A banana, put your banana mouth on everybody. The only problem is if you have a banana mouth, you have to sing this part with a mushy banana banana voice, but you'll have a very appealing smile. You ready? His mouth was a banana, banana, banana. Mouth was a banana, and the name was Aiken Drum. His arms were long and green. They grow in a garden. What could they be? You're right. His arms were made of green beans, green beans, green beans. His arms are made of green beans. His name was Aiken Drum. Now, everybody take a green bean and strum your ladle, and we can sing. Played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. Played upon a ladle, his name was Aiken Drum. His body was a pumpkin, he loved pumpkin pie. Everybody make your big body into a big pumpkin, make your body dance. Body was a pumpkin, a pumpkin, a pumpkin. His body was a pumpkin, his name was Aiken Drum. He had a big tummy pumpkin. Yeah, this color, just like my shirt. Oh, guess what? His legs were long, you put him in a bun. Put ketchup and relish and mustard on. What am I thinking of? Hot dogs, you're right. Everybody out there, stand up on your hot dog legs. We're gonna do a silly food dance. Let's start dancing. Here we go. His legs are made of hot dogs, hot dogs, hot dogs. Legs are made of hot dogs, his name was Aiken Drum. His toes are made of jumping beans. How high can everybody jump? His toes are made of jumping beans. Jump, jump, jumping beans. His toes are made of jumping beans, his name was Aiken Drum. Oh, wasn't he a yummy man, a yummy man, a yummy man? Oh, wasn't he a yummy man, his name was Aiken Drum. Strum your ladles. He played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. Played upon a ladle, his name.
name was Aiken Drum. Yay, good job, you guys. Well, when I was just a kid, I never will forget. I woke up late one night and I lay there in my bed. My family was a slumbering. No one was around. I was almost back asleep when I thought I heard a sound. A creak upon the staircase, I could plainly hear. Something there was moving, and it filled my heart with fear. It couldn't be my mother, nor it couldn't be my dad. And my brother John slept next to me, the only one I had. I thought monsters in the bathroom, monsters in the hall, Monsters in the closet Hanging from the wall I thought they'll come and eat my parents And I'll be all alone And they'll nibble on my toes Right down to the bone So I pulled the covers over my head My knees began to shake My mind said go back to sleep But my body stayed awake I thought of all the monsters And all the movies I had seen They'd all been pretty scary, all been pretty mean. Well, so I tried to calm myself. There's nothing there, I said. No monsters on the stairs, they're only in your head. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing there at all. Well, I had just convinced myself when I heard it in the hall. I could hear the monster breathing. I could hear the monster sigh The monster stood right over me I kissed the world goodbye And then the lights came on I screamed, I'm dead But the monster was my mother and This is what she said Well, I was having a midnight snack When I thought I heard you call so I came up the stairs and I tiptoed down the hall When I was just a kid like you I'd wake up in the night I'd hear a creak begin to freak Till my dad turned on the light Oh mom, that's just plain stupid I never get afraid You must have been a chicken Or not been very brave <laughs> No, don't you worry about me I'll always be all right. But my brother Johnny hates the dark, so please keep on the light. Cause he says, monsters in the bathroom, monsters in the hall, monsters in the closet, hanging from the wall. He thinks they'll come and eat our parents and we'll be all alone. Then they'll nibble on our toes right down to the bottom. And they'll nibble on our toes Thank you, Bill Harley, for that fun song. Now, you guys don't really get scared that easily, do you? Our imagination does get carried away. Sometimes we start to worry a little bit when we are in the dark or we don't know what's going on. I'm not scared, I'm not scared. See the smile up on my face that means that I'm not scared. So if ever you feel scared, you just have to make a big smile like this. Ready? Ready? Big smile. And you can sing with me. I'm not scared, I'm not scared. See the smile up on my face that means that I'm not scared. Everybody, I'm not scared, I'm not scared. See the smile up on my face that means that I'm not scared. Keep smiling. I went into a big dark house. I went there by myself. It looked to me as if it had a ghost on every shelf. Smile. A friend of mine was hiding there, and then I saw his head. He jumped right out and shouted, Woo! But this is what I said. Ready? I'm not scared, I'm not scared See the smile upon my face that means that I'm not scared I'm not scared, I'm not scared See the smile upon my face that means that I'm not scared One night while camping 
Something in the woods I heard a spooky sound I slipped out of my sleeping bag To take a look around The night was dark The shadows deep A spooky, creepy night But here's the song I shouted out While shivering there in fright I'm not scared I'm not scared See this smile upon my face at me said I'm not scared I'm not scared I'm not scared See this smile upon my face it means that I'm not scared So when I go out on Halloween the spooks will be out too And so I think I'll watch my step and so I think should you But when I get a little scared I'll keep in mind this song We're going to sing it one more time So you better sing along I'm not scared, I'm not scared See the smile up on my face, it means that I'm not scared Oh, I'm not scared, I'm not scared See the smile up on my face, it means that I'm not scared Oh, I'm not scared See this smile up on my face, it means that I'm not scared. Nothing to be afraid of. Thank you, Bob Blue, for that great little song. All right, it's time to do some skeleton dancing. Oh, those bones, those skeleton bones. Oh, those bones. Those skeleton bones Well, the toe bone connected to the foot bone The foot bone connected to the ankle bone The ankle bone connected to the leg bone Whoa, 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 those skeleton bones Oh, those bones, those skeleton bones Well, the leg bone connected to the knee bone The knee bone connected to the thigh bone The thigh bone connected to the hip bone Whoa, whoa those skeleton bones Oh, those bones Those skeleton bones Well, the hip bone connected to the backbone The backbone connected to the neck bone The neck bone connected to the head bone Whoa, whoa, whoa Those skeleton bones Oh, those bones Those skeleton bones Well, the finger bone connected to the hand bone The hand bone connected to the elbow the elbow connected to the shoulder bone whoa, 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 those skeleton bones oh those bones those skeleton bones well the shoulder bone connected to the backbone the backbone connected to the neck bone the neck bone connected to the head bone whoa, 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 those skeleton bones oh those bones those skeleton bones oh those bones those skeleton bones Oh, those bones Those skeleton bones Hi-ho, the rattling bog The bog down in the valley, oh Hi-ho, the rattling bog The bog down in the valley, oh Now in that bog there was a tree A rare tree, a rattling tree Everybody rattle turn into a tree and rattle that's it there's a tree in the bog and the bog down in the valley oh hi ho the rattling bog the bog down in the valley oh hi ho the rattling bog the bog down in the valley oh now show me a branch on the tree and on that tree there was a branch rare branch a rattling branch there's a branch on the tree tree in the bog Bug down in the valley, oh, I ho the rattling bog, the bug down in the valley, oh, I ho the rattling bog, the bug down in the valley, oh. Now on the branch, there sits a nest. Show me a nest. And on that branch there was a nest, a rare nest, a rattling nest. There's a nest on the branch, branch on the tree, and the tree in the bog, and the bog down in the valley, oh. I hold the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. I hold the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Now in the nest.
nest, there's a little egg, right? Ready? Well, in that nest there was an egg, a rare egg, a rat, an egg, there's an egg in a nest, and a nest on a branch, and a branch on the tree, tree in the bog, and a bog down in the valley, oh. sitting on that egg. You're right, it's a bird, so show me a bird, a rattling bird. Now on that egg there is a bird, a rare bird, a rattling bird. There's a bird on the egg and the egg in the nest and the nest and the branch and the branch and the tree and the tree and the bog and the bog down in the valley, oh. Hi-ho, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Birds like to eat seeds, so in the little tummy of that bird there's a little seed. In that bird there was a seed, rare seed, a rattling seed. Everybody rattle the whole bird body. Ooh. There's a seed in the bird, bird on the nest. No, seed in the bird, and the bird on the egg, and the egg on the nest, and the nest on the branch, and the branch on the tree, and the tree in the bog, and the bog down in the valley. Oh, hi ho, the rattling bog. Someday, that seed is going to grow up to become a giant tree. Let's see if we can sing the whole thing. In that seed there is a tree, a rare tree, a rattling tree. There's a tree in the seed, seed in the bird, and the bird on the egg, and the egg on the nest, and the nest on the branch, and the branch on the tree, and the tree in the bog, bog down in the valley, oh, hi ho, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh, hi ho, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. <laughs> if you go down to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's the day teddy bears have their picnic. Now every teddy bear has been good is sure of a treat today. There's lots of marvelous things to eat, wonderful games to play. Oh, beneath the trees where nobody sees, they'll hide and seek as long as they please. That's the way teddy bears have their picnic. Picnic time for teddy bears. The little teddy bears are having a lovely time today. Watch them, catch them unaware. See them picnic on their holiday. See them gaily gather. They like to play and shout, they never have any care. At the six o'clock, their mummies and daddies will take them home to bed when they're tired, little teddy bears. Well, if you go down to the woods today, you better not go alone. It's lovely down in the woods today, but safer to stay at home. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's the day teddy bears have their picnic. Today is the day teddy bears have their picnic. You know, you guys, if you have a teddy bear or a stuffy with you, pick them up because it's time to go waltzing with bears. Waltzing is really fun. You just sway back and forth. This is a true story I've been told. I crept to his room in the middle of the night. I crept to his side and I turned on the light But to my surprise there was no one in sight Cause our Uncle Walter goes dancing at night He goes wah 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 waltzing with bears Raggy bears, shaggy bears, baggy bears too There's nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do So he can go waltzing Then we pleaded, oh please 
please won't you stay and manage to keep him at home for one day but the bears all marched in they took him away the bears all demand at least one waltz a day they go wah 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 waltzing with bears raggy bears shaggy bears baggy bears too nothing on earth uncle walter won't do so he can go waltzing covered with hair and lately I've noticed a bunch of new tears I'm sure Uncle Walter's been dancing with bears he goes wah 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 waltzing with bears raggy bears shaggy bears baggy bears too there's nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do doodly doo so he can go waltzing wah 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 waltzing he can go waltzing go Uncle Walter, how does it feel to be light on your toes and to kick up your heels? He said you will find what the music reveals tonight when the bears teach us polkas and reels. We go wah, 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 waltzing with bears. Raggy bears, shaggy bears, baggy bears do. Nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do. their lair. We danced in a bear hug with nary a care. It sure feels like flying, there is no denying, but now my pajamas are covered with air. He goes wah, 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 waltzing with bears. Raggy bears, shaggy bears, baggy bears too. There's nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do. So he can go 